Hey everybody, today I am going to be replacing the bushings on the leaf spring in the front of this club car. And first thing I'm going to do is loosen up the wheels, then I'm going to jack it up, take the wheels off. Then I should be able to get to the uh, leaf springs. Right now they're kind of blocked by the wheel. Oops, need another extension. Yep, a little short there. Extension. Could have just used a longer extension to begin with. Didn't think I needed it. Here we go. Yeah, that was easy. I always loosen wheels before I jack up a car or anything. This one didn't really need it, but that's okay. Hard to break habits. Okay, that's loose. I'm excited to get this finished because this is really the only problem the car had is that the leaf spring was rubbing on the inside of the wheel. I'll show you that in a second. So let's line up the jack. That looks like it's already lined up. Got it. Get this up in the air. Just a couple pumps should get it up. <laughs> Use that. Alright, we are off the ground. Now I can just take these wheels off real quick. I don't even need the ratchet anymore. Alright. Should have kept going. Those are long studs coming out of there come out like over an inch. There's one, two, three, Last one, and the wheels should pop off. There's four, and there goes the wheel. So what we're trying to get at is right here. Stick this here. Yeah, there's no bushing in there anymore. Here's my new bushings and the little rod that goes through to hold them in. Almost there, uh, three of them off, last one coming. And this wheel will pop off also. All right, there they go. And there is that wheel. I'll show you real quick where the wheels were rubbing. I was able to see it right in there. This one's not too bad. This one was pretty bad. This bushing is completely gone. I mean, it is rubbing away the metal. But that is what 
allowed me to get this golf cart so cheap is that the person that was selling it thought they had a serious, serious issue on their hands and didn't realize that it was just a bushing. Well, I did, and I will take the deal. Okay, let me go get a wrench real quick, 14 millimeters. Be right back, run into the toolbox. Maybe I'll switch you guys up a little bit. There we go. We're just working right down here. Okay. Got that. Let me grab my ratchet. See it just wobbling around. Nothing holding it. No wonder. This suspension is kind of loose up here, though. We'll take a look at that real quick. It could just be as simple as once I put this bushing back in, that all that slop and play goes away. Okay. Why don't you want to come out? Let's see. Why well, that bolt doesn't want to come out? Strange. Looks like the bolt doesn't want to come out. I just have to get a hammer real quick to tap it. It's a little torsion. Kind of like I did get out of bed this morning. Alright, grab a hammer. Give it a couple taps. Let's see if that does the trick. There it goes. Come on. I didn't think I'd have to get a punch or a screwdriver or anything this morning. Just stick a screwdriver in there. Give it a couple taps. Hopefully it comes the rest of the way out. There it is. There it goes. And it's out. Okay. So now the suspension can travel up. And I'll show you what was here. supposed to be a bushing excuse me running all around here inside this hole right there there was nothing except for this little metal holder so now I'm gonna put the new holder and bushing in and we should be set on this side Excuse me, trying to do this with one hand. Okay. So basically you got the metal, it goes in on one side and then the other side of the bushing goes in on the other side. So I'm gonna push that in real quick. I'm gonna stick you back on the pedestal and do this. Let me pause it real quick. All right, I've got that. I'm gonna lay down on my side again, raise up the suspension, stick the bushing through, 
Normally I would clean out the hole and get it all ready, but there was nothing in there. So that's not necessary. So we'll, we'll a couple taps. The hammer. Sometimes this is a pain right here. Getting a new bushing improperly. All lined up. Oh, there it goes. Give it a couple taps to get it aligned. Oh, hold on. You want to be careful because if you hit on it too hard in the wrong direction, you can actually rip the bushing, which would put us back at square one. There we go. there. Almost there. And another quarter inch and we'll be good. Okay. Oh, I lied. I'm almost there. Not quite. Okay. <laughs> when you hit one side, the other side's kind of popping out a little bit. Sticking up slightly. Come on. And it's going to stick out a little bit just because it's a brand new bushing, so it is going to be a little tight. Okay. I think we're good now. Maybe not quite yet. It is super close. Here are my lambs. All right, there we go. Squeeze them down on top now. Almost there. Once I get it kind of lined up, I can start sticking the bolt through to kind of get it to go the rest of the way. Almost lined up. Almost, almost. Actually, the screwdriver might help me out here. There we go. Perfect. Whoa. 
move. Got misaligned right after I took that through. That side's not There we go. Got it through. Come on. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's get through there. There we go. Got it. Finally. Okay, let's get 14 milliliters. Tighten this bad boy back up. Okay, got that one done. Let's switch to the other side. Okay, here we go. Let's loosen this up. Hopefully this side is easier than the other side. Sometimes when you're doing maintenance on things that weren't taken care of, it take a little longer than normal. In there pretty good. There we go, broke it loose. It was so tight the other wrench didn't even move. I'm sure we're gonna find the same thing over here that there's no bushing. Okay, that is off. Again, doesn't want to come out, but we will convince it to. I guess I got to use the screwdriver again. And you can use this as a substitute to a punch. I just didn't feel like getting a punch. Okay. There we go. That is through. Hey, look. No bushing. Amazing. All right. Let's see if we can get this one in faster. I should have gotten some dish soap or something like that. It makes this a lot easier and faster. But what I'm going to do Stick out the metal rod so it goes a little further, make it easier for me to align pushing on this end. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. 
because now I'll have to fiddle with trying to match it up once it gets in. Now it's already on there. It's all right. We're here to learn. Most of the metal's on this side. Almost there. Awkward angle since I'm parked right here next to my benches. Almost there. Come on, I know this one has a little more it can go in. It's an awkward angle to hit. Okay, that one can't really go in anymore. There we go. Well, it's on this side now. go. A little more downward pressure. See if I can sneak the screwdriver in there. There we go. Tap this over a little bit. Screwdriver can only move it so much. Need to go down a little bit. How far are we on this side? It's fun when one side is missing one way and then the other is going a different direction. Oh well. It's like when you're working on cars and carts and things like that. that 
pull in it just a little bit better. Got it. Woo. Now let's find the nut for this side. There's the wheel lugs. Just had it. It was right here. Let's pause real quick so I can find that nut. Okay. Let's tighten this up. Put the wrench on that side. Put the ratchet over here. Once we do this, we are ready to put the wheels on. to get those wheels on. Ooh, rotates with me. Stay still. There we go. Get one of these on. And it can't fall off anymore. Okay, now I'm gonna tighten these up hand tight. And once they get on the ground, I'll use the ratchet. Remember to use a cross pattern. Go to the one that's diagonally across. And then the second one. Or the, yeah, third one actually will be next to it, and then you go diagonal again. Go around one more time. Don't want to relieve pressure and then put a bunch of stress on the studs. Okay, got that one. And the other side's the same. I will spare you watching me do All right. that. Let's get this bad boy back on the ground. Let's release the pressure on the jack. And then there she goes. Pull back. I'm going to use the wrench to tighten this. I don't really think I need a fork wrench on this. So I believe I'm going to be able to get it to the recommended torque ratings with just my hands. But after I ride it, I will check it one more time. Make sure nothing loosened up. Okay, almost there. Last one. Wow, <laughs> I left this one kind of loose. All right, all done. So, all thing left to do is take this for a ride and make sure we eliminated the problem. Right, we are going to go for a ride and see if we hear that noise. I mean, we're already riding and I don't hear anything. I'm just going to take it. I'm gonna cruise through my neighborhood. Let's see, we'll start off going this way. By the way, you can see my new windshield. I folded it down so I can get a nice breeze. It's a beautiful day here in Hazel, Texas. That's where we live. 
look at that. No noise, it's not rubbing the wheel. So that is exciting. Let's just go up here, turn around. Looks like it all worked out well. Hope for those of you that are doing the same repair that this helped. Have a good one.